So this recipe is perfect for you to finally do something about that ground meat that's been sitting in your freezer. So Filipino picadillo can also be called giniling, and giniling means a minced or ground meat of some sort. So Filipino picadillo is a ground meat dish with tomato sauce, potatoes, carrots, and you're gonna have to watch the rest of this video to find out the rest. Welcome back to this channel where you learn about Filipino food and how to make it with easily accessible ingredients. So if you wanna learn how to make one Filipino dish a week for four weeks, click on the link in the description below. Let's get started. We're gonna use an Instant Pot because I like using it whenever I can. I plug it in, one pot to clean. Click the link in the description below if you want your own. Turn on the saute mode to the normal level. Pour in about one tablespoon of oil and then wait a few minutes for this to heat up. Next, throw in three cloves of chopped garlic, half of an onion sliced, and then saute these two until the onions become a little bit translucent. Next, throw in either four small or two medium potatoes that have been cubed. Throw in 14 baby carrots that have been sliced in thirds or two medium carrots that have been cubed as well. Saute these two for a few minutes until the potatoes and carrots become a little bit more vibrant. Now we're gonna throw in one pound of ground meat of our choice. Here, I'm using ground beef. And usually it's better to saute it on its own, but it's a one pot kind of recipe, so just throw it in. Make sure you break up the ground meat into smaller clumps. And then we're gonna throw in one tablespoon of fish sauce, which gives it a nice umami flavor. And then we're gonna follow that up with two tablespoons of Cholula hot sauce or any hot sauce of your choice. Next, I'm gonna throw in salt and pepper, adjust to your liking. Mix this all together, and then follow it up with one can of diced tomatoes. You can use tomato sauce if you'd like, but I like the diced tomatoes because you get the chunks of tomato in there. Next, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of raisins, which is completely optional because I know a lot of people out there hate having raisins in savory dishes. Fun fact, I used to hide the raisins from my uncle or my parents when they were cooking Filipino dishes that needed raisins. And I got in so much trouble that I learned to finally appreciate raisins in my dishes. Put your Instant Pot lid on, and then we're going to let this saute for 15 minutes. Keep the vent on. There will be steam coming out of it regardless. After the 15 minutes is up and all the steam has been released, open your lid and then test to make sure that the potatoes and carrots are tender by poking with a fork. If it is, next thing we do is add one half cup of peas. Taste it to make sure you like it and add a little bit more salt if you need to. Mix, 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 and then that's it, you're done. Unplug the Instant Pot and it's time to serve. Ooh, this dish is so flavorful, hearty, and of course, completed with a side of rice. You don't really need the rice since you got potatoes and carrots in here, but I don't know, it just makes it taste so much better. This is another delicious dish that you can add in your what do I do with ground beef recipe arsenal. And, the ingredients you can find in any of your local grocery stores. So I expect to see every single one of you telling me in the comments below how delicious it turned out when you made it at home. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye!